One morning, as I lay soft in my bed, in a place between waking and sleep, where I often go to commune with the wise and benevolent ethereal beings, I found myself sitting quietly beside my soul lover, the masculine counterpart of my feminine soul. His name? Oran. As I sat next to him, I felt into his essence with my heart and sought to coalesce my mind with his. Oran felt hard to me, perhaps even harsh. He felt stern, serious, heavy, energetically dense like unbending metal, unyielding but strong and sturdy. Initially, this seemingly harsh and emotionally void exterior scared me. However, upon delving more deeply into Oran's being, I found that his apparent lack of emotionality and his seriousness were not byproducts of anger or disapproval, but expressions of a pure and innocent impartiality and a wise, emotionally detached, objective view upon the truth albeit manifested occasionally somewhat tactlessly by human standards. So I asked Oran, are you rigid? And this was his reply. You could say that my energy has a high viscosity, so it takes time and a steady exertion of some force to make an impression on me or for me to transform. Your soul is the opposite, light, airy, malleable, too changeable. When you permeate me, you lighten me and facilitate more fluid and facile transformation in me. I lend stability and form to you. You lend lightness of grace and fluidity to me. We need each other, one without the other would slowly die. So this is the nature of our symbiotic union. And because I am thus bound to you and you to me, we are one. We function as one. The dynamic intermingling of my viscous masculine soul with your fluid feminine soul is an eternal dance of love which gives rise to the perfect balance between my wisdom and your love. For a world without balance between wisdom, or the masculine, and love, the feminine, shall soon enough destroy itself from within. Because love without wisdom leads to insanity, and wisdom without love leads to cruelty.